morning everyone um, I've just done my makeup because I actually have a very busy day today and I have to leave at like 10 which probably sounds quite late but I diddy dally a lot in the morning so I wanted to like you know make sure I'm on a roll get done but Christmas tree is actually more importantly happy 1st of December can't believe it's bloody here December is bloody here and I'm so excited I'm going to open my advent calendars I have two this year I have a Cadbury's one which mum actually sent through the post which I'm so thankful for <laughs> and then I also have a body shop one which was kindly sent to me and I was debating whether to wait to open it and I thought you know what I want it I'm gonna wait I don't want to open it now and do a YouTube video I was like no so I've waited and yeah I get to open this as well let's do the chocolate one first there's number one <laughs> here it is really ha hard in this one-handed oh my god there's no foil oh that's quite good although they've upped their chocolate game haven't they how sick is that first chocolate from the advent calendar happy days happy christmas <laughs> oh my god it feels like truffle They have vanilla cream in them. Mmm. 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 How bad my bags are. All my days. I'm also one of those people that, when it comes to the advent calendar, I like to fold a corner of the door down so I know that I've opened it. Is anyone else like that? Also, who else, right? Basically, I even focus. With advent calendars, do you guys eat yours in the morning or do you wait for the evening time and then opening open it in the evening? Because my dad, he's more of an evening person. But I'm 100% open it in the morning straight away because chocolate in it. But with me, there's no time limit when I can eat chocolate. I think with some people, they're like, I can't eat chocolate before 10 o'clock. But I'm not like that. <laughs> Um, yeah, it's just interesting because obviously everyone's different. But yeah, look, here we go. Just folded down my first little door. And then I know which ones I've opened and I don't get confused. And it doesn't look too messy either. Time to do this one now, which I'm actually very intrigued about. Look. <gasps> look at all this. Oh my god. Where's number one? Oh, am I being blind? Oh, here it is. <laughs> Ooh, I wonder what this is. I'm very excited. Oh, I got some some hand cream. I don't actually have any hand cream, so this is actually very handy, and it's coconut, which. <laughs> can't go wrong with coconut and then the first one of that is all open got myself a little vanilla cream chocolate and a little hand cream what a great start to the month hello i am outside now eli's just got my suitcase for me whilst i quickly vlog um basically today is a shoot day so eli would fancy to walk because he was doing lectures this morning and he was like nah i need some fresh air so um, he's walking me to my location to shoot. I'm actually meeting India and um, yeah, and then he's gonna go back home. <laughs> oh, poo, watch out for poo. Um, yeah, that is the update today. It's so sunny, it's beautiful. And it's actually a little bit chilly, but because I'm walking, I'm actually warming up quite fast. So it's not too bad, it's not too bad. Um, yeah, that's, I haven't really got to update you on anything else really. But I'm heading down to the pavilion because that's where we're going to start out for our little shoot location. Um, and then, yeah, watch out, there's more poo. <laughs> Come on, poo duty. Um, anyway, I'll catch you guys later. Um, hello, friends. 
So, it's been about a few hours now and I've shot all my outfits. Um, I've just done this one which got my Chandler Bing little sweater vest on. I think we've actually done pretty well for time as well, I'm not gonna lie. So I'm gonna head home, unpack, and then I'm gonna meet India and go for a little sunset walk. Um, so yeah, that's about it really, but I have, I don't feel like I've done anything Christmassy yet. Are you decorating your tree? It's decorated. Oh, you don't have it. We've got two trees. We've got two trees. I'm gonna go to Sainsbury's. I haven't, I haven't done a post though, any stories, but um, I think I'm gonna, yeah. What, what me and Eli are gonna do actually is we're actually gonna have mulled wine tonight. Cause Eli wanted to have mulled wine yesterday and I was like, no. I was like, we need to wait until it's actually December. Um, so we're gonna do that this evening. Maybe watch a Christmas film. But yeah, I haven't done anything like super Christmassy today apart from actually opening the advent calendars. But, you know, we've still got a whole 24 days to get in the Christmas spirit. So there we go. Hello everyone. It is now. 20 to 3. Basically, I am absolutely starving. So I'm going to quickly make some avo on toast and then I've got to head out again in 20 minutes. It's not even focusing on me. How rude. Here we go. Um, I then have to head out in about 20 minutes to go meet India again. Um, and we are going to go for a little cute walk along the beach and watch the sunset, which to be honest, I haven't actually done in... I actually haven't done that in so long. Like I normally just watch it from the bed, um, from our lounge window. So yeah, I'm actually very excited to watch the sunset. I hope it's a good one. Cool, that's a good avo. That one. <laughs> yeah, shoot went well. It was very, very cold today. Luckily, I was actually wearing thermal leggings. So wise choice I made this, this morning, which I'm very proud about. But yes, I had thermal leggings on. Um, which is actually very handy because then I can literally just whip off my jeans or whatever and I don't have to worry about, you know, people seeing my pants. <laughs> Basically. I only shot four outfits today, which to be honest, I think I probably could have done more, but it's fine. I've got, I've got a little while to, um shoot some more content because basically I'm going home for Christmas and when I go home I don't want to have to stress about taking outfit pictures oh my god my belly is literally rumbling I'm so hungry um yeah I don't want to stress about taking outfit pictures so I'm just trying to get a good backlog in Brighton and then when I'm home I can just post those and yeah like I said don't have to worry about taking pictures really do you know what I mean like I just want to be able to chill with my family and stuff so that is the um the main reason why I'm trying to just take loads and loads of pictures so I'm covered what else oh I also got a little oat milk hot chocolate because I'm obsessed I think it how many times have I had one now I've literally had one almost every day for like the past five days no that can't be correct maybe it is I'm sorry. It, I just can't believe it's the bloody 1st of December, really. Do you know what I mean? Where the fuck has this year gone? Like, literally. Shook. I'm shook. Mmm. <laughs> I got... Yeah. No, I should probably eat this quick, and then I'm going to have to go. So I'm here in the yard. There she is. Hi. <laughs> um... <laughs> And we're just sitting on the beach watching the sunset. It's absolutely beautiful. I'm drilling. Oh, lovely bit of drilling. <laughs> um, and yeah, it's just gorgeous. And the sea is so flat and peaceful. And that's about it. But I'm going to do a few little clips so you guys can watch it.
everyone i am back home and i'm gonna put you back in my cupboard right so i met india went for the walk it wasn't really a walk we just walked to the beach and then sat on the beach um but it was lovely the sunset was gorgeous and there was a shit ton of starlings as well as you have seen in the clip so that was really really beautiful i said it in india's vlog that i've never actually seen seen them in real life i've always seen it on like tv or films or whatever but i've never actually physically kind of seen or experienced it in real life so that was really really beautiful like i actually kind of felt weirdly like emotional whilst watching it um yeah it was stunning and there were so many like india says she's never seen that many before so yeah i was very lucky um what am i doing now it is quarter past five and i am gonna make myself hot chocolate so i was like what is this fringe doing look at that can you see that what the hell <laughs> Eli, what time is it? It's mold one time. Mold one time. <laughs> it's mold one time. It's mold one time. Look at the tree. <laughs> at the tree. <laughs> um, it is time to try the mold wine. That sounds like a game show. Unintentionally rhymed. A rich and warming it's mold. It's vegan as well. Oh, oh it's vegan. It's vegan from Asta, three pounds. <laughs> I haven't actually ever tried a mulled wine. Actually, no, that's a lie. I have tried a mulled wine, but I haven't actually ever kind of liked it. So okay. this year could be the year. I haven't tried. This year is the. I literally tried a Snickers bar for the first time the other day, and I actually thoroughly enjoyed it. So this year is. Full of surprises. Yeah, you were trying a lot more stuff because, yeah, you were picky, but. Yeah, so this could be the year that I actually like mulled wine. Who knows? All right. Oh, look at us. Where are these from? Look at us in our days. Hey. Oh. Oh. Where is it? The back? Where is it? <laughs> Where is it? Where is it? Is this. What's this <laughs> going on? Oh, it's in the back. It's got the face <laughs> in the back. <laughs> Um, that's a sample. You guys aren't actually supposed to see that. <laughs> that <laughs> that's um, <laughs> that's one that didn't quite make the cut. Anyway, right. Saucepan, mold wax, cops up the rodent. We need orange slices and cinnamon and shit. We've got lemon. Mm. Cinnamon. No, no, it's literally we need we need nuts, cinnamon. <laughs> <laughs> There's a fucking nut on it. Look, it's a nut. What's the actual ingredient? The actual ingredient ingredient. <laughs> nutmeg. Is cinnamon, nutmeg, clove, and zesty citrus fruits. So. I actually cut my fringe again last night. This side never cooperates. It's just not. Oh, it's just rude. This side, I don't know if it's just the way I've styled it today. It just doesn't. Just doesn't sit the same. The mold one is heated up, 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 up. Why am I singing so much recently? I can't sing, so I shouldn't really be doing it. Ooh, oh, I've dripped it, and it's like hot ribena. Am I dripping it? Oh, I've just dripped it. Fuck it everywhere. That's mine. Do you want to do your one? Cheers. Is it going to be, how hot is it? Mm. It's very citrusy. You're a fan. Christmasiness. No, I don't like this one. <coughs> what do you like about it? I don't know. The aftertaste is weird. Well, I would give this a maybe a four. Is that a bit stingy? That was my mulled wine experience. Disappointing to say the least. I knew you would like it. Yeah, I'll try again maybe later on. 
another day, I'll try again. What is your Christmas drink of choice this year? A good hot chocolate whipped cream and marshmallows. Hello, you can see little Bruce the Spruce behind me. I will show him properly tomorrow. But it's about 10 past 9 now and I'm just editing my video. But anyway, I've done a bit of editing and I think I'm going to reward myself with watching I'm a Celebrity whilst editing today's pictures as well. Because there's a whole load that I forgot to go through. So I haven't actually edited or looked through those. So I'm going to do that. Um, and then also reply to comments. Um, so I'm going to have a very chilled evening. But um, yeah, I'm going to end today here. And we'll see you guys tomorrow. Good night. It's time to go. It's time to go. It's Christmas. It's Christmas time. It's time. <laughs> Where's number two? Oh. Here it is. Struggling to get this one. I actually can't fucking. Oh, I mean, I. <laughs> I was opening in the wrong way. Okay. I'd like to say that it's early, but it's actually 20 to 10. What a twat. Oh, look, a snowman. Oh, he's a chubby little fella, isn't he? Look at that. Look at him. Look at the little snowman. That? Mmm. Vanilla cream. Ooh. Is it vanilla cream? I think it's vanilla filling. There's a lot of those snow... Is it snowballs? Is it like them? Mm. Out of five? Fifteen. <laughs> now, ladies and gentlemen, the body shot. The, the body shot. There. It's a long one. Oh my gosh. What is it, guys? It's a note. Oh no, it's a. A notebook? Are you serious? <laughs> the what? The, the body shop? The body shop vitamin C glow sheet mask. Mask? Lovely. Good morning everyone. Happy 2nd of December. It is the second day already. Kind of sad that the first day is over and done with and I didn't really feel it with much Christmassy things. But hey ho, we move on. So today, I actually thought it was going to be a little bit more sunnier. It's kind of grey and dull. Um, a bit dingy, <laughs> kind of had a, a little shoot day plan where I wanted to do some outfit pictures with Eli and then also shoot loads of pictures in the mirror which I don't think I'm going to be able to do today because the bedroom's basically, basically pitch black still. <laughs> but I briefly mentioned Bruce the Spruce yesterday and I thought I'll quickly show you him like properly now. So basically, Bruce was gifted to me from Patch Plants and they are a service that deliver plants to your doorstep, which is so handy. And he is a mini Christmas tree. This is him here. And he's a beautiful kind of bluey green color and he's real and he smells amazing. He hurts if you touch him. <laughs> so that's definitely real. And yeah, this is him here. So he's pretty small. Look at him. And my little orange garland that I made last year. We wrapped that round it. Got a little orange one there as well. Um, but yeah, so little patch plant Christmas tree, which is super, super cute. Made myself a little cup of tea, although it looks like someone spat in it because of bubbles and like froth on it. Uh, me and Eli went out and we shot two outfit pictures as well, which went really, really well. It, we were surprisingly quickly as well, which was really, really good. I've just had a parcel arrive. It's um, nothing actually that exciting. It's just from And Other Stories and it's literally two items, but I thought, you know what? Let's open it on this vlog. I'll probably start off with the least exciting thing, I think. That is good old white t-shirt. So this one here. Although I don't know whether it's... Oh, no, that should be fine, actually. That should be oversized enough, kind of, for like a boxy fit. 17 quid, does it feel nice? I'm not sure. <laughs> I don't know, I think I like it. I try it on, I'm not sure. I think, it, I think it's cause I have like other t-shirts which are like much, much thicker cotton and I quite like a thick cotton t-shirt. Um, 
but I'll try it on. Next item is a little thing to open it. This cream jumper, which it does, it feels a bit itchy. I don't know whether I can deal with an itchy. I don't know, it, um, it could be quite warming. It could be quite warm. Is it got wool in it? Yeah, look, cheeky little wool blend. It is actually quite nice though. I got this one in a size small, did I? No, size extra small. Jeez. Yeah, that is definitely oversized. Just the way I like it. Um, this one was actually like 60 quid, I think. And then for Black Friday, I managed to get 20% off it. Um, but I'm definitely gonna try that on. Actually, shall I try it on now? So you guys can see. I'll try it all on now so you can see. Angle you down just a tad. Um, this is the cream jumper. It's got a slightly longer back. I just love it, actually. It's a real nice kind of like cozy fit and it feels so nice it feels it does feel like quite um premium or luxury is that the right word i'm not quite sure yeah i love the fit of this and the sleeves are a really really nice fit as well yes keeping this let me try on the t-shirt and this is the white t-shirt on it's probably not as boxy as i would want it I think I wanted it a bit more oversized. Let me tuck it in, see if it looks all right. I guess it looks all right. It's just a white tee, isn't it? And I guess you can never really have too many white tees. My hair is so bad at the moment. It's, um, I actually had a hair appointment booked for end of November. And then because of lockdown 2.0, I had to get that, that was canceled. And then the next like date that they could book me in was January. Cause like December was already like fully booked. I was like, fuck. I was like, that's fine. Um, so January it is, but I'm just, my hair has just gone really kind of yellowy and I don't know, like, I know I was gonna be like, oh, I'll try a silver shampoo and like I do, but it just doesn't quite cling on to it as much. And I normally, I used to leave it on for like 40 minutes, but it just doesn't really, it's not the same as going to the hairdressers, is it really? And I wanna get some more blonde highlights because Look at that root growth. Look how like my like roots are, it's just so dark on top now. Do you know what I mean? And I used to have loads of blonde in my fringe and now it's just dark brown and not a fan <laughs> to be quite frank. But uh, there we go, life goes on. I'm actually getting my nails done tomorrow as well, which I'm so freaking excited about. Um, I was trying to pick something like kind of Christmassy and I'm like, I'm not really a kind of like sparkly person or like Christmassy like intense nails person. Um, so I think I'm gonna try and go for something a bit more kind of subtle, but a, just, a, just a hint of Christmas. So I'm excited to show you guys tomorrow what I'm gonna go for. But yeah, these were the two items that I got from And Other Stories. I will link them below, of course. But I'm definitely going to be keeping them actually, I think. First jumper, I freaking love. I loved that and it just, it felt like I said like, quite nice quality like whilst i was wearing it it just it felt nice do you know what i mean and it's rare to find a jumper that you put on and you're like oh i like this do you know what i mean does that make sense i don't know am i just rambling probably i still need to watch i'm a celebrity i haven't actually watched it this morning i normally watch it every morning whilst i do my makeup but um today i was kind of in a rush <laughs> shock <laughs> um so i was like oh i'll just watch it later this evening um so i've got that to watch okay actually I just went into the bedroom, spoke to Eli, and I've decided I'm not keeping this t-shirt because, like, when I relax, like, I don't like how the sleeves look. They look frilly. Do you know what I mean? Like, look, it looks like I've got frilly sleeves, whereas I like mine quite, I like really boxy, straight sleeves. But they look, they look frilly. I don't want the frilly sleeves, do you know what I mean? So I'm actually going to return the t-shirt, but I'm still gonna keep the jumper. But I thought I'd let you know, because I basically told a porky pie. <laughs> oh, the hot water bottle is out, which means it's officially winter because mate, I'm freaking freezing. Tell you what I have been doing is I've actually been sat here with my hot water bottle. <laughs> 
<laughs> eat like <laughs> and I've been listening to like all the old school songs that I used to love when I was younger. How did we come across Cher Lloyd? I did that. We're going to sing Cher Lloyd by Cher Lloyd. Oh. Uh, which one of you doesn't know the point after you've had a Cher? I started listening to all her Cher Lloyd songs. There was actually so many that I used to love. And then I started watching them all on YouTube and watching the music videos. Um, and then now somehow I've ended up with Vanessa Hudgens with Sneaker Night and I used to love all that kind of shit. Like I even, I even bought them on iTunes. No, I'm not singing it. I can't sing. We know that now. Um, oh, did you hear my voice? <laughs> I'm going to go have a shower and put a hair mask on and I'm going to watch I'm a Celebrity and then I'm going to edit this video that you're watching right now and get it ready to upload tomorrow. So yeah. <laughs>